Yeah, there's a current problem that the fourth panel uh, is uh, not uh, displaying anything at all. So that's meant to be the volumetric uh, data. How do we fix the code? Yeah, there's no error, but the fourth panel is uh, empty. Might be an issue with text load the load function. It's still in our main uh, JavaScript, so it's loading everything else correctly. We have those uh, keyboard shortcuts uh, left and right. This is uh, up and down, but then it's also, yeah, it's not very handy because it's also moving the window. And we have page up, page down, but then the 3D model meant to be this uh, interactive thing. We're using a WebGL a renderer. We have orbit controls. So we should be able to zoom in and out, pan uh, the scene, etc. Now it's actually having an issue loading the data. We regenerated the code that doesn't seem to help, no errors. The pre-processing, we already explained this one. Uh, was the data generated correctly to begin with, or do we need to change the pre-processing uh, Python script as well? Uh, this one seemed to be correctly implemented. We are loading nifty files using this uh, nibable, nib, nibable, creates output directory, yeah, it does that, saves the files to the imaging script, creates nice and before saving, the script assumes the, in, the input 3D data, if your data is more than three dimensions. <laughs> Uh, no, it's not, it's not more than three dimensions. The data is not more than three dimensions. Uh, can we get rid of this styling for a sec? Okay, a couple of quick things. First, we have some styling code in the HTML. However, we meant to be having a separate style CSS file. So how do we address that? Which one is actually being used? Also, the fourth panel is still empty. So we don't see the volumetric uh, data. Uh, what code do we need to fix? It's also pointing at the HTML. Maybe there is an issue with it. Yeah, the external CSS file will override the inline style because they are loaded after. Ah, okay. So it's just the, uh, the order there. Does it mean we don't actually uh, need this? They are the same, are they? I think they are the same because if we comment them out yeah we get uh, we get this which is fine so it's yeah there's no problem uh, we can save the html yeah it's working okay just had to essentially a duplicate of the styling uh, regarding the fourth part seems like the volume measuring that is uh, supposed to be loaded and displayed it uses 3js However, if the volume is not being displayed, there might be a few issues. Uh, do we have volumetric raw? We do have this file. It's a binary meant to be that there. Uh, yeah, we don't want to open it over there. Yeah, so the problem is we need more troubleshooting. Troubleshooting, troubleshooting, troubleshoot, loading the volumetric drive, check the network. Well, there's nothing. Actually, loading the images instead of. Uh, so, this is all happening in 
main js and it's like we seem to be loading the static data vol volumetric images but not the raw file slice uh, measure that we'll need to fetch all the slices into the 3d texture we have to be speaking faster a uh, we need we seem to be loading the static data volumetric uh, slices images but not the raw data a file that supposedly has the 3d structure volumetric slices are loading correctly but the raw data files 3d structure is not incorrect server passing can you actually look at the code a bit a lazy no, it's not lazy this one you actually need to tell it exactly where to look kind of thing it's being served in the flask application it's not being loaded to the javascript code okay i can fix it correctly loading the visual to the slider images from directly but it's not loading the raw volumetric data if you want to load the raw volumetric data you would need to make HTTP requests, several images that I have. Keep in mind, handling of images might require additional processing, depending on the format of the data. To understand why. Okay, can we sort out the format of the data we actually generated ourselves in pre process Python script file and then can we load it in JavaScript so it's actually appears on the front panel? I imagine this would be very similar to working with um, a junior a developer kind of thing or I don't know which level of developer well depending how much knowledge they have right so um, this developer seemed to know what it's doing but it's still the if the a final result is not working well it's not working is it can process data button and then load in JavaScript, process the data, import JSON, save the purpose data, you can save the purpose data in JSON file, which can be easily loaded in JavaScript. Here's an example of how we might do this in Python. Okay. A fetch. Okay. So we um that sounds legit workspace okay that sounds good what code specifically in this project do we have to change for it to work saving it as json file is fine currently it's a uh, dot raw um i don't particularly care <laughs> what file format it is based on information provided it is not clear what specific changes need to be made general suggestion um okay which file is generating the model uh, are we turning it into json instead of raw file is that correct like this uh, speech to text is actually getting the punctuation correctly which is nice which is very nice okay the model is being generated and converted into json format this is done for easy handling uh, the model generated blah blah okay so the model will be json file uh so we pre-processing again we need to just delete the volumetric data so we have static data directory we just uh should we just get rid of all of it let's just get rid of it um check the containing folders currently it has zero files in it zero files in it okay we making progress no oops no that's not what i meant to do okay with the updated uh, changes that you suggested can we regenerate the script in pre-process python file we have made our own um, 
custom GPT check. Yeah, we're relying on ChatGPT way too much. Yeah, it timed me, timed me out before. Uh, GitHub Copilot is uh, pissing me off. Okay, we said that we are changing the output format of the volumetric data. Uh, can you actually... Oh, come on doesn't let me finish the sentence like interrupting me and start starting generating it's really like a human humans love interrupting one another don't they yeah we have that uh, a volumetric yeah this needs to be based on color of image that's currently being saved to go back now can you look at the conversation above a uh, we were talking about creating a json model is that supposedly a uh, can you generate the whole code yeah also using a json library create output coronal a uh, axial sagittal volumetric so why the volumetric one is a problem and we're saving it as json and we'll have to run it again because it currently we don't just we just delete the the, the data files we have to regenerate them again for doing that we need to kill the terminal so we actually stop the flask application uh, we have to run the pre-processing code that will actually generate the data as a reminder we're taking data from a what is it open neuro and as opposed to open ai open neuro is actually open where you can actually get the uh, the data and it's a uh, creative commons uh, license um is it still uh, running right data has four items volumetric has the json file which is 98 megabytes which sounds legit and we actually need to run the flask application and for the volumetric data to work we need to change and the flask backend to fetch uh, we also need to change the flask back end to fetch the correct file which is the json file can we change this code please can modify yeah from volumetric data instead of dot raw we're getting dot json okay um oops uh, a uh, which file which part of the project which code is still trying to fetch the static data volumetric uh, image slices that should have changed but now fetching the a uh, 3d model it's looking for the relevant code it's in main a uh, js a uh, load 3d model load 3d model using json loader basic setup for the 3d view load a new 3d scene um a volumetric a how to modify this code exactly a scene basic uh, it's generating the whole thing isn't it can do it but Loads. initialize rest of the okay from animate animate thing remains the same we're just doing the first made a mistake made a mistake a their message has been removed this means that you can't use json loader trying to use json loader okay you told me to Wait, where is it? A JSON loader, an object loader. Then there's GLTF loader. 
why why I can't just at least snap and just that looks correct the app is called the brain f3d and disclaimer and everything so we're working on this uh, new web application i'll just um, share all the details below and we would like to continue developing it uh, we are currently uh, not seeing the fourth panel 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 oh come on type it in so one it's uh, not being loaded correctly and uh, here's all the relative code below just do a main js yes so this one should make it clear that we have a flask application this is a separate pre-processing uh flask code we don't need the inspect nifty file it's something we already run or should we run it again uh where's the nifty the uh, copy relative path i think it's just yep it's the header of the nifty file to address the issue with the fourth panel not loading correctly in your 3D Brain MRI viewer application, let's review the relevant sections of your code and configuration. The fourth panel in your setup corresponds to the volumetric view. Here are some possible reasons and solutions for why the panel isn't displaying correctly. 1. HTML structure. Ensure the volumetric view canvas element is correctly defined in your HTML. HTML.doc-like-eng. Metacharset viewport content with device width, initial scale one point, title 3D brain MRI viewer, uh, link rel style sheet, refl URL for CSS slash. There was no significant changes in the HTML. I haven't actually changed anything, have you? In app by volumetric, yeah, we have the, don't get why are you generating the same code? A canvas container, it did only change. <laughs> and that last sentence is totally out of whack. Yeah, those are the uh, instructions I gave to the custom GPT. In this era, but the roots are fine. This will snap with it because, yeah, that fast too large. What that, what the problem would be. Is it because, because the JSON file is too large? Is it possible that the JSON file is too large? I get uh, this uh, error when uh, trying to load it. And it's in a static folder, so it's not extremely large. It's only like under 100, 100 megabytes. Is that a problem? Now, question is, the 3D model, the volume, volumetric uh, data is already in the nifty file. Why do I have to extract it uh, and generate it uh, separately in a pre-processing uh, Python script? Still doesn't work. Something with that object loader it was actually working before. Just broke it. Uh, it's not working. Um, it's that object loading, loading the object doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work. As the image suggests, we do have the model. I just can't see it on the screen. Um, can we actually change the 3D object to actually show something for testing? Right. So it's actually working. 
Yeah, it's not working only when uh, using Flask. Yeah, it's having wrong that model, isn't it? Isn't that something wrong with that model? So the simple model, the red box just works. It's uh, displaying okay. So why is a volumetric uh, JSON file is not displaying? Uh, here is all the relevant code. Uh, below. To understand why the volumetric JSON file is not displaying properly, we need to examine the relevant code for loading and displaying the volumetric data. Please share the code that attempts to load and render the volumetric JSON file so I can help you identify any potential issues. If the volumetric JSON file structure is different from the simple box example, we may need to adjust the code accordingly. Additionally, Please provide a brief description or snippet of the volumetric JSON file's content if possible. This will help me provide more precise assistance. You want to crash my Visual Studio code, wouldn't it? I don't know why it's such a... Yeah. <laughs> it's only under 100 megabytes uh, JSON file. What's... Uh, why is it the problem? Why is it the problem? Why is it the problem? Uh, we also have this uh, inspect nifty file, which actually gives us useful stuff. Okay, can you actually review the code? Uh, give a quick description and uh, suggest a way to fix the problem the problem is that uh, in a 3d brain uh, structure everything is being displayed okay except the fourth panel uh, which meant to have the volumetric uh, data and uh, that one is not uh, loading at all javascript else if event.code google page up update coronal view one Else, if event.code equals page down, update coronal view, minus one. Mouse navigation, axial canvas .add event listener wheel, function event, if... Wait, it's uh, reading the second part of the response. JavaScript else if event.code... Um, yeah, go figure. Code review, HTML, yes, JavaScript, yes. Python backend, script uh, preprocessing, uses the nifty file. Saves the size image into PNG and uh, volumetric data as a JSON file, respectively. Yeah, that's correct. Volumetric data and show, yes, yes, yes. Here's some changes. Here's some changes. Uh, well, currently it's not working, so I uh, don't have anything better ourselves, do we? They haven't actually changed anything. That's the thing about it lately. Uh, I don't think it's actually making any changes. Now that should be fine. Summary of the changes for matching plan load adjusted the code to fetch the process of metric down into the point cloud format that can be visualized with 3JS. It's this cloud format point cloud that's different we didn't have that did we a point cloud point uh, okay okay but you a uh, loading the sample not the volumetric data okay it's loading volumetric data as well camera position z50 uh, whatever that means that's not complete code because it just split it up into parts page over here split the code generation to do but it should be fine and make sure the first configuration was correctly defined the server running properly this will be a app so we're not regenerating the data are we we are not regenerating the data are we 
Why do I suspect? Whoops. Why do I suspect the Python backend is exactly as it was? Okay, we are um, changing a pre-processing. Wasn't doing stuff like this before. It wasn't doing stuff like this before. Papa. Why is it always data? No, we are not regenerating the data. The provided preprocess.py script was included to show how the data might have been generated. If your volumetric data is already generated and saved correctly, you don't need to rerun this script. Let's focus on ensuring that your current volumetric JSON data is properly loaded and visualized in the application. Ensure volumetric data loading and visualization. Here is a streamlined version of the JavaScript and Flask backend code to ensure that the volumetric data is loaded. Was the error? Fail to play message. Wow. Okay, we have the volumetric data loaded correctly. Okay, now we have the volumetric data loading correctly, but I still cannot see it on the fourth panel. 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 Teaching me English, that's great. Very nice of it. Check the task structure rendering the point of cloud and change point of cloud center to the scene and the rendered correctly. Debugging steps to debug console log. Yep, camera position, point side of color. The JavaScript, we just modified the JavaScript. Are we just uh, adding debugging, are we? Since the volumetric data is loading correctly, but not displaying, let's verify a few things to ensure the visualization part works properly. Here are the key steps. One, check the data structure. Ensure the data structure you receive is as expected and being processed correctly. Two, rendering the point cloud. Ensure the point cloud is added to the scene and is rendered correctly. Three, debugging visibility. Check if the point cloud is within the camera's view and verify if any properties such as scale, position, or visibility are affecting it. Steps in debugging. One, console log. Add console logs to verify the data structure and the number of points being generated. Two, camera position. Ensure the camera is positioned correctly to view the point cloud. Three, point size and color. Ensure the points are large enough to be seen and have a distinct color. Let's modify the JavaScript to include these debugging steps. JavaScript main.js, JavaScript basic setup for 3D view, late view, let scene equals new 3.scene, let camera equals new 3.perspective camera, 75 window inner width slash window dot inner height 0 0.1, 1000, let renderer equals new 3.webgl renderer, renderer dot set size, window inner width 2, window inner height 2, document get element by id volumetric view dot append child, renderer dot dom element, let controls equals new 3 orbit controls, camera, renderer, dot dom element. Load volumetric data fetch slash volumetric, then response response.json, then data console.log volumetric data loaded successfully. Data, let voxel size equals 1, adjust voxel size as needed. Let geometries new 3 buffer geometry, let positions equals, let colors, convert volumetric data to a point cloud for, let x equals 0, eta dot length, x plus plus, for let y equals 0, y data x length, y plus plus, for let z equals 0, z data x, y length, z plus plus, if data x, y, z, 0, slash assume non-zero values are part of the structure positions dot push x to voxel size, y to voxel size, z to voxel size. Let color value equals data x, y, z slash 255, normalize to zeros one range colors dot push color value zero zero. Console dot log number of points. Uh, the fourth canvas is still empty, but it uh, doesn't seem to be loading correctly. Given that the number of points is over 13 million, it is highly likely that rendering this many points at once is causing performance issues or browser crashes. Here are some strategies to manage large volumetric data and ensure it displays correctly. One, downsample the data. Reduce the number of points by sampling only a subset of the data. Two, level of detail, LOD. Use level of detail techniques to display fewer points when the object is far away. Three, dynamic. It keeps uh, crushing the 
uh, the chat without sampling okay, before we had many data points was it six seven eight uh yeah there are much uh, less of them now there is much uh, lower number of data points which is great but i still cannot see anything in the fourth canvas let's verify a few additional aspects to ensure the volumetric data is correctly displayed in the fourth canvas check scene and camera setup Ensure the camera is correctly positioned and the point cloud is added to the scene. Additionally, we need to confirm the renderer is attached to the correct canvas. Adjust point size and color. Make sure the points are large enough and have a visible color. Debugging visibility. Add a bounding box to the scene to confirm if the point cloud is within the camera's view. Keeps failing to read the text. I don't know why. Waiting here. A bounding box and adjusting the color. I just want to confirm that the 3D model does what it meant to do. I used the code, but nothing seemed to have changed. Make sure the, can the canvas is properly linked. Make sure the canvas is not going to correctly reference just code. Check camera and scene setup. And debug the drawing. Okay. Keeps updating code, but sometimes I suspect it's being lazy and it's not actually changing the code. So it's a bit of a new thing. It wasn't uh, wasn't doing things like that before. Wasn't doing things like that before. Let's further debug this issue by verifying a few more aspects. 1. Ensure the canvas is properly linked. Make sure the canvas element for the volumetric view is correctly referenced in the JavaScript code. 2. Check camera and scene setup. Ensure the camera is correctly positioned and looking at the scene. 3. Debug drawing the bounding box. If the bounding box is visible, then we know the point cloud is in the scene. Updated JavaScript main.js we will add more debugging information and ensure that the camera and controls are properly set. JavaScript slash basic setup for 3D view, let scene equals new 3.scene, let camera equals new 3 perspective camera 75.inner width slash window inner height 0 0.1 thousand, let renderer equals new 3.webgl renderer, renderer.set size window inner width 2, window inner height slash 2, document get element by ID volume metric view dot append child renderer dot dom element. Let controls equals new three dot orbit controls camera renderer dot dom element. Debugging log when the renderer is successfully attached to the canvas console dot log renderer attached to volumetric view canvas. Load volumetric data fetch slash volumetric dot then response response dot json then then data equal console dot log volumetric data loaded successfully data let voxel size equals one adjust voxel size as needed let geometry equals three dot buffer geometry let positions equals let colors equals Downsampling factor, e.g. 10, will use every 10th point in each dimension. Let downsample factor equals 10. Convert volumetric... Yeah, hey, I don't get any errors, but uh, there's still nothing in the fourth uh, canvas. Okay, it's uh, working. I can see the 3D rendering. Um, just looks a bit uh, weird. Can you uh, explain what's going on? Look at the images provided. Great to see that the 3D rendering is working. The issue you're seeing with the rendering might be due to several factors such as the scale, position, or distribution of the points. Let's break down what might be happening and how to adjust it for a better visual representation. Explanation of the rendering issue. The points might be too close together or too far apart, leading to a dense or sparse visualization. Two, voxel size. I totally didn't expect it to look like this. Can you see, uh, can you find other examples uh, of similar displays and explain what uh, might be happening here? Yeah, this is uh, interesting. I can see some features of the brain there. It obviously needs to be improved quite a bit. Made a silly mistake there. Looks like one 
Uh, looks like one of the voxels or something. <laughs> no, there's obviously many uh, voxels in there, but um, okay, playing with parameters, uh, uh, you can get to a point where you see some brain pattern in the fourth canvas, uh, which is the volumetric data, but it still looks uh, pretty weird. Uh, can you explain what's going on? Also, a minor, f minor thing, can we change the default uh, images uh, loaded uh, for the other three canvases when the page loads? Yeah, I want, want them to be like in the middle of the brain somewhere. In the middle of the brain. In the middle of the brain. Yeah, current visualization <laughs> uh, being visible appears to be weight could be due to several factors. Point the point cloud density might be too close or too far. Uh, the colors might be representing the depth intensity correctly. Yeah, I don't think the colors are representing anything correctly. Uh, it's meant to look like a brain. Yeah, there's something weird. Uh, something voxel size the scaling factor that might uh, need further adjustment adjusting visual visualization parameters fine tune voxel down sampling and down sampling color mapping better color mapping and updating a uh, visualization let's see if it did anything yeah that's what okay it fixed the uh, it's doing something useful it's doing something useful. We might as well uh, continue prompting. Okay, this is how it uh, looks like when loading the page the first time around. Uh, surely this can be improved quite a bit. And the second image is what I see when zooming out quite a bit. So I have to move out uh, quite a bit to see the brain structure. But then it's still looking very odd. Uh, can we improve it some more? Third improvements. Chris points eyes. Adjust color. Yeah, want to highlight different parts of the brain better, that's for sure. Removing the bounding box, maybe that will help. Okay. Hey, okay, recent changes to the code are not much better. Hey, I don't understand exactly what's going on. Yeah, the colors might be incorrect doesn't like doesn't look like a brain anymore used to i used to be able to see some of the brain features in the previous uh, versions of the rendering code so might uh, have to go back not sure can check the images let me know what you think let me know what you think. It changed the default. Could be the sensitivity. The color map. Color map. Revert earlier point size and color mapping at more comments and logs for debugging. Okay. Might need a better a better color map. Better color map, better color map. By the way, we are only talking to the robot because there is no human available. Wanna come live um, on to this stream? We can definitely arrange that. Oops, still wrong. Okay, I can see can see the brain it's really hard to pan uh, let's pop it back in 
there, refresh it for a sec. Okay, this is definitely better. Um, I can see some brain structure, but it can be still improved quite a bit. Any suggestions are uh, welcome. Uh, also, the first image is what I see when loading the page page the first time around, uh, which seems to be I need to zoom out quite a bit to start seeing anything useful on the volumetric uh, data. The other three panels are looking great. Yeah, there's something uh, there for sure, just it's a bit weird. Also, painting it is not very um, handy. It's like it's uh, it's not great. You know, the mouse updated. Uh, adjust the camera position, increase the point size, add logs. Okay, sounds great, doesn't it? Okay, we're finishing uh, up in a sec. That's what we had so far. Let's see if the new version of the code is any better. Adjust it. Yeah, why is it so bad? Um, I don't know, need to uh, maybe try a different scan or something. Do we need to try a different scan? Uh, we'll have to try it next time. Be be working much better, wouldn't it? Yeah, we would also like, so there's supposedly some uh, a machine learning, machine learning, we just need like basic, uh, fairly basic uh, image processing to be used on these images to find different parts of the brains. For example, uh, we can label the cortex of the brain that should be in theory straightforward. Uh, maybe not. A setback background color and uh, debugging load volumetric data just voxel size or performance. <laughs> The performance can do more. Let's go crazy. Uh, I mean, like inside the brain or something. Um, yeah, there's something if, if the voxel size. This looks more like um, it's a game called. Uh, that kids play the robo robo something blocks blocks robo blocks I don't know how do you adjust this thing like automatically it's being yeah, it's starting as well when loading that's actually it's sampling should we keep this meant to be uh, turned into a 3d model doesn't it look like 3d model does it it meant to take all the slices. Doesn't look like 3D model. Assume non-zero values are part of the structure. Uh, this normalizing. Let the volumetric data to point cloud with down sampling. Uh, normalize to zero one range. Assume non-zero values. Uh, we don't want the bone, we want the brain and uh, larger points. We want smaller points. A uh, camera position for the larger scene. I just wanna, yeah, the other problem is when you scroll with your uh, wheel mouse scrolling up is fine because the page is uh, positioned at the top, but when you scroll down, yeah. Um, it's also being used on the page to be, yeah, uh, to improve the keyboard, the controls and things. Yeah, we'll continue with that one uh, next time.